What is up, Juice Kingdom? I'm Haley Lewis, and this is Juice News Daily. It's a quick show that wraps up everything you need to know about the Kansas City Chiefs in just 10 minutes. Remember, the show drops on Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Central Time, on the KCSN YouTube channel. Make sure you go head over there and like and subscribe to follow along. Also, join our LLC, the Loyal Listeners Club. It's free. It keeps you in the loop. It allows you to chat and interact with myself and other listeners. The link to join is under this video in the description. All right, let's dive into this one. This episode brought to you by Unified Healing. More developing in the car crash in Dallas involving Chiefs wide receiver Rasheed Rice. For the first time since Saturday, Rice posted a statement on his social media saying, Today I met with the Dallas PD investigators regarding Saturday's incident. I take full responsibility for my part in the matter and will continue to cooperate with the necessary authorities. He wrote this on an Instagram story post saying, I sincerely apologize to everyone impacted in Saturday's accident. Now, today, Rice's attorney spoke to the media, according to Sam McDowell from the Kansas City Star. During the police interview, attorney Royce West said, Rasheed Rice acknowledged that he was driving the Lamborghini. Royce West also went on to say that Rice will handle his responsibilities regarding the car accident. He is going to do everything in his power to bring their life back to as normal as possible in terms of injuries and in terms of property damage. Well, today is a special day, Chiefs Kingdom. We get our first look at Patrick Mahomes throwing a football to his newest offensive weapon, Hollywood Brown. Mahomes posted this video on his Instagram feed, showing off the pass from QB1 to Brown with the caption being a bullseye emoji right underneath it. There are other receivers spotted in this video as well, catching passes like Nico Romijo, Irv Smith Jr., Sky Moore, and Justin Ross. What is even cooler, or maybe just a fun fact, I guess, is that Mahomes added the song Precision by Big Sean over the video. Big Sean actually commented on the post saying, study the target, I'm never going to miss it. I call that precision, like, hey, followed by the bullseye and fire emoji. So we got a Chiefs fan in Big Sean, huh? I'll take it. Now expect to see more videos and content like this as the Chiefs start phase one of offseason training. The program begins on April 15th, OTAs kick off on May 20th, minicamp taking place on June 11th. OTAs are voluntary. They run from May 20th to the 22nd, May 28th to the 30th, and June 4th to the 7th. Mentor minicamp is June 11th, and it runs through the 13th. Now, phase one consists of the first two weeks of activities limited to meeting, strength and conditioning, physical rehabilitation only. As we've seen over the past two seasons, Mahomes likes to work with his teammates about building chemistry by hosting players for workouts in his home state of Texas during this time. All right, let's head over to social media to check in on Chiefs players. We'll get y'all caught up on the latest. Chiefs newest addition, Carson Wentz, spoke with the media today as the Chiefs officially announced the quarterback signing. Wentz explained why he chose a sign with the reigning Super Bowl champs. He said, why I'm here today is just the winning culture, the desire to be on a winning team and a good culture and in a good community with a good fan base just seemed like a good fit. Veteran backup signed a one-year deal with Kansas City, making the Chiefs his fifth NFL team to play for. All right, Chiefs defensive end Charles Minahue was recently on K. Adams' Up and Adams show talking about who he's looking forward to facing next season. He might be on a little revenge tour this season after coming back from a torn ACL injury, which kept him out of the Super Bowl game against the 49ers this past February. What are the mm-hmm. games that, that you're looking forward to when that schedule release happens? Uh, 100% the Niners. Uh, 2,000% the Texans. Um, if I could add another thousand for the Texans, I would. Um, the Ravens, because I feel like job wasn't finished. What's the D'Amico thing? You and D'Amico? Um, um, it might not really be D'Amico for real. <laughs> it just, you no, know, like they, they, the, the Texans drafted me, but um, just, you know, when you, when you, when you, when, when the business shows itself early in your career, you keep that backlogged in your memory um and i just feel like i have a little bit more to show them too whether you're a world-class athlete or a podcaster like me we all understand the importance of mental and physical well-being and proper recovery that's why i'm excited that unified healing is sponsoring this episode of chiefs news daily unified healing is a new and innovative global network of wellness centers powered by energy enhancement system or ee system Whether you're here in Kansas City or elsewhere, there are hundreds of locations across the globe. Access to a center is easy and affordable. Interested in experiencing the EE system technology for yourself? Go to unifiedhealing.com slash KCSN to learn more and find a center near you. That's unifydhealing.com slash KCSN. 
No material or testimonials on the Unified Healing website are intended to be viewed as medical advice or a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified healthcare providers with any questions you might have regarding a medical condition or treatments and before undertaking a new healthcare regimen, including EE system. We're just three weeks away from the NFL Draft, which kicks off on Thursday, April 25th in Detroit. The Chiefs have seven picks in total now, picking dead last in round one at 32. I guess that's the price you pay for winning another Super Bowl. I'll take it. Their other picks include round two, pick 64, round three, pick 95, Round four, pick 131. Round five, pick 159. This is from Dallas. Round five again, pick 173. It's a compensatory pick. And round seven, pick 221. That is from Tennessee for the speed trade, but via Carolina. So what are the experts saying? Here are some of the latest mock draft picks for Kansas City. Let's kick it off with NFL Network's Lance Zerline. He has the Chiefs taking Georgia wide receiver Lan McConkey at the end of the first round. Zerline explains the Chiefs snag an inside slash outside receiver who was one of the most polished game ready targets in this class. CBS Sports' Josh Edwards has the Chiefs going a different route at pick 32, taking Alabama cornerback Kool-Aid McKinstry. Edwards explained that the Chiefs have a need at cornerback. After trading away LeJarrius Sneed, they could fill that void in the first round with this selection. On Monday, the KC Laboratory guys ran their second mock draft of the year. The boys at home, we got Ken Swanson, Craig Stout, and Matt Lane. They chose to actually trade up to pick 27 to select LSU wide receiver Brian Thomas Jr., After the pick, Matt explained that the Chiefs are getting a wide receiver that has legitimate speed and is still young. Let us know your thoughts on these picks. As always, we want to know who you think the Chiefs should go after. We appreciate you guys staying involved in the show. If you want to know more about the draft information as we gear up for the draft here in less than a month, you got to check out the KCSN Draft Guide. More than 300 pages of Chiefs-specific draft coverage which players fit the Chiefs scheme and historical markers for certain position groups. It's the best resource for Chiefs fans to have as the NFL draft gets closer. The link is under this video in the description. Also, make sure you head over to Twitter. We want you to share with us your draft crush. We want to see your replies. Now let's check in with KCSN host Maddie Lay to hear who he is crushing on in the NFL draft. Well, in honor of the KCSN Draft Guide release being today, I think it's time to answer the question, who is my Chiefs dream pick for the Chiefs this year? And honestly, I'm not going to go to round one. I think it's easy to pick a round one player. I'm going to go with the round two player, and I'm going to pick a my guy from the KCSN Draft Guide. I'm going with wide receiver Jermaine Burton out of Alabama. Now, in this loaded wide receiver class, it's easy to kind of throw a rock and just hit a wide receiver you're going to love for the Chiefs. But Jermaine Burton just screams Kansas City Chiefs to me for a couple reasons. So six foot, 195 pounds, very average sized wide receiver, but a great vertical threat. Averaged over 20 yards per target this past year. Dominant as a vertical guy, but then he has the catch point skill. So maybe he doesn't get open. He could go up, elevate, get the football. And he's great on broken plays. That's where I really love him is when a play breaks down, he is so quick to become a playmaker. We know that'll work well with Patrick Mahomes. So Jermaine Burton, dream draft pick for the Kansas City Chiefs in round two for me. Well, guys, that does it for another episode of Chiefs News Daily. Again, if you haven't joined our LLC, you got to sign up. It's absolutely free. Joining the Loyal Listeners Club keeps you in the loop. It's a fun way to chat and interact with our crew over at KCSN. Plus, you can win some pretty cool prizes. we got a Trip McDuffie signed jersey up for grabs right now. Make sure you check out the other prizes and contests. You can join by clicking the link under the video in the description here. Right now, there is also a ticket to our NFL Draft Watch Party that's up for grabs, a KCSN hoodie, also raffling off a Zoom call with the KCSN host to talk all things Chiefs football. You can also get discounts on tickets for less, as well as Mission Taco. All right, guys, that does it for another episode of Chiefs News Daily. We'll see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. Have a good one.